My brothers and sisters, that's not what life is. If you're a good Muslim, how can you reduce your life to entertainment alone? Yes, you may want to enjoy yourself within the limits once in a while and you take your family, you spend time with your family, but you need to know the greatest enjoyment is achieved by obeying the instruction of your maker. He tells you to eat that which is pure and good. He tells you to earn in a beautiful way if you're a good Muslim. He tells you to spend time with your family members. Today, the crisis we are facing, people are prepared to spend time with their friends every night doing only what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and they know. And their spouses and their family members whom they are supposed to be spending time with, they are responsible for, are literal orphans whose parents are alive. Orphans whose parents are alive because we don't even spend time with our family members and we call ourselves good Muslim and then we are depressed. We are sad and then sometimes we lose our families. We have children who grow up all on drugs and bad habits because you never spend time with them. Rather enjoy yourself going on a holiday with your own family. So mashallah, take your family and go out and enjoy that Force yourself to enjoy that little shell that Allah has given you to start with. What's the point of having a thousand friends when your own family is crying for your company and you cannot spend five minutes with them and you cannot speak with them with a good tongue. This is why I read before you the verses of Surah Al-Furqan towards the end where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it very, very clear to us who are the true worshippers of the most merciful. Very clear to us who are the true worshippers of the most merciful and one of them is and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when they walk they walk with humility humbleness humility humbleness we do not want to give the impression to others that we are haughty we are arrogant because we are just one of the rest subhanallah I remember once I was traveling and we had stopped to refuel in one of the we call them petrol stations and there was a group of people in another vehicle who looked at us and started laughing because we were Muslimin. And they started laughing at us and scoffing and so on. And we could see it. I told the brothers with me, please just ignore them. It was actually my family. I said, just ignore these people. And I came out, we bought a few, you know, a little bit of water and drink and whatever else whilst the motor vehicle was refueling. And thereafter we came out and Happily, we went on to the road. They had left five minutes before us. Somewhere down, they made an accident, a huge accident, a very, very big accident. And we were one of the first people who came in. And mashallah, tabarakallah, that was an opportunity. I didn't just look at them and say, you guys laughed at me. You guys were scoffing. You guys were so arrogant. And now, goodbye. No, we didn't say that. Not at all. I stopped ignored what happened before let's deal with you are you guys okay is everything fine and i noticed there was injury and in no time not only with my vehicle but a few other people and we took them to the nearest hospital and thereafter we happened to help them tow their vehicle and so many things happened as a result i want to share with you a statement that was uttered to me a month down the line one of the brothers came to visit me and he told me, I thought Islam was a very barbaric religion that never ever respected human life. And I've changed my mind forever. That's all. I've changed my mind forever. I didn't ask him, brother, enter the fold of Islam and so on. I told him, my brother, here are three booklets and here are two DVDs. I only want you to know what I believe. Here you are. That's all. That was enough. Subhanallah. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least the bare minimum is the world can become a better place. People can start studying. They can start seeing. They can ask questions. What a great opportunity Allah gave us. This is what's supposed to be the quality of a Muslim. May Allah make us good Muslimin. And I'm sure it's happened to a lot of us. But my brothers and sisters, the worst from amongst us is he or she who behaves in a way that those who already have a not so bad impression of Islam start having a worse impression of Islam. Then we have done a disservice 
not only to ourselves and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well, and the deen at large and every other Muslim on the globe. So we call ourselves good Muslim. And then we complain about the image of Islam on the globe when we have contributed towards it. Imagine. Imagine. 